We are the wealthiest country in the history of the world, but the vast majority of the people are not enjoying that well. And they're working longer hours for low wages in my state of Vermont, but I'm sure, sure it's true here as well. We got people not working one job, two jobs, three jobs to cobble together an income and some health care. Okay, and that's the reality. But while the middle class of this country is struggling, there's another reality that's going on, and that is that the people on top are doing phenomenally well. And a lot of folks and politicians don't like to talk about that issue for obvious reasons. People don't like to take on big money because big money has a lot of power. I do talk about it. And I think that it is immoral when you end up having a situation as we do today, and 99% of all new income generated goes to the top 1%. Does anyone think that that's what America should be about? No! That's income. In terms of wealth, listen to this. The top one-tenth of one percent, one-tenth of one percent, owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. Because it's not a democracy, it's a plutocracy. In the last two years, the 14 wealthiest people in this country, Bill Gates and those guys, saw their wealth increase by $157 billion, which is more wealth than the entire bottom 40% of the American people have. All right. So you have this massive level of income and wealth inequality. And then on top of that, you now have, you're all familiar with Citizens United Supreme Court decision? Yeah. All right, so what that's about is the Supreme Court said to the billionaires, you own the economy, now you can own the political system. That's right. So, you know, in my state, we have town meetings. We have one person, one vote. But right now what's going on is the Koch brothers and other billionaires can spend an unlimited amount of money. And they are. So they're going to spend $900 million, billion dollars to elect extreme right-wing candidates. And I don't think that that is the political system that we believe America should have. That is buying elections and buying politicians. And every day on the floor of the Senate, you see a manifestation of that reality. People around the country want to raise the minimum wage, and you know what we get? Tax well, breaks for billionaires. We get exactly the opposite of what the American people want. So on top of those issues of, of the economy not working for the middle class, income and wealth inequality, you got Citizens United, you got climate change, which is a huge, huge issue. And if we don't get our act together and transform our energy system, this planet is going to be in serious trouble. And then you got another issue. You got another issue which is very important in Vermont, and I'm sure that it's important yes. here. In a competitive global economy, we want our young people to get the best education possible. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And right now we're putting up impediments <laughs> to them getting an education. So you got hundreds of thousands of young people can't afford to go to college. And you got millions of others who are graduating deeply in debt. Does anybody here know how much it costs to go to college in Germany? Zero. Zero. Scandinavia, zero. Actually, in Denmark, they pay you to go to college. <laughs> now, I think if we want the best educated workforce in the world, if we want our young people to be able to make it into the middle class, what about saying that tuition is free in public colleges and universities throughout this country? Make sense? Yeah. So what we have, we've got a lot of work on our hands. You know, we've made progress in this country in the last number of years in, a, in, in many ways. But the big fight in front of us now is taking on these very powerful uh, billionaires who want it all. The Koch brothers are worth $85 billion. Apparently, that's not enough. They need more. And they're willing to step on people to get that. So our job is to organize, to educate, and to fight back. So I thank you all very much for being here. And I